Alexis Baden-Meyer, political director of the Organic Consumers Association. Alexis is also part of the California Right to Know campaign that is fighting to label GMO foods. Alexis, welcome. Thank you. Uh, so we see what's happening to rats being fed GMOs. Uh, is this what can happen to humans? Absolutely. We're seeing a huge uptick in cancer among our population, diet-related diseases, gastrointestinal disorders, allergies amongst kids, um, autism. All of these things could be related to genetically modified foods. The studies need to be done. Um, but is there any study connecting uh, the ailments that you just listed specifically to GMOs? Well, the study that came out yesterday is a very important one. This is the first study that's looking at the effects on rats of eating genetically modified foods over their lifetimes. Human beings in the United States are also part of this study. The way the study was conducted, they gave the rats the genetically modified corn, they gave them the genetically modified corn with the herbicide that the corn is used with, and they also gave the rats water that has levels of the herbicide in it that are the same as levels permissible in the United just States. I just want to point out, we are looking at the study, exactly what has happened to these rats. You can clearly see these uh, fair, fairly large tumors, especially Enormous in comparison tumors. to the size of, yeah. of the rats. So, I mean, even though it hasn't been, there aren't con conclusive results on humans, we can only presume that we would, there would be a similar result in humans. Yeah, the rats had tumors in their mammary glands. We have a huge rate of breast cancer in this country. Um, you know, why are we having a rate of cancer that's subjecting about half of us to cancer in our lifetimes? As the fight against genetically modified foods grows, more and more evidence is emerging that confirms how GMO crops have a negative effect on the animals that consume them. For example, take the most recent study published by the Journal of Organic Systems, in which a team of Australian researchers studied the extent of which GMO crops were affecting the health of pigs. They took 168 newly weaned pigs in a commercial U.S. piggery and divided them in half. 84 pigs were put on a diet that incorporated genetically modified soy and corn, while the other 84 pigs ate a non-genetically modified diet. Other than what they were eating, the pigs were brought up in identical conditions. Roughly five months later, the pigs were slaughtered and autopsied by veterinarians, who, mind you, had no knowledge of the pigs' prior food intake. Well, the autopsies yield a very disturbing result. The pigs who had eaten the GMO crops had a much higher rate of severe stomach inflammation. So for those of you that don't know, stomach inflammation can be a serious digestive issue, often causing symptoms such as abdominal pain, abnormal digestion, and malabsorption of nutrients. Now, anti-GMO activists are saying this is just one more example why it's so important to know about the food we eat.